<laughs> Y'all still don't get it, man. Y'all still don't fucking get it. <laughs> after all these years, after all this time, after all the years of regret, after all the years of feeling bad and feeling down and being depressed and, 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 and having no drive, Y'all still don't get it. Y'all still don't understand what's wrong. I tell you why you don't understand. You don't understand because modern culture makes you feel like it's okay. Modern culture makes you feel like it's something that's normal. You see, fellas, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Blue pill society, modern society is always gonna feed you the shitty end of the stick and make it seem like it's good for you. It's the best thing for you. It's natural. It's okay. Everybody doing it. Why not you? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna try to demonize you for going against the bullshit, but they don't demonize the demons. <laughs> they demonize you. They demonize a man that's on his purpose. But they deem, but they, but they praise the clowns. They praise the real demons, and it's hilarious. You see, fellas, that's why you can't get shit done. That's why you a weak man. That's why you can't look people in the eyes. That's why you don't get no fucking respect. That's why you out of shape. That's why the world ain't rewarding you. It's because you, you, you're still touching yourself. Man. You're still touching yourself and you're still watching pornography. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a story, fellas. When I was about 11, 12 years old, I remember I was just on the computer, just playing regular video games, you know what I'm saying? And I, for whatever reason, we had a virus. And for those of you who don't know, usually when you have a, a virus on the computer, it crashes a lot. You, you start having all these random pop-ups and ads from these different websites, and they never really go away. So anyway, one day I'm playing video games on the computer, blah, blah, blah. And a fucking ad pops up with a naked woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm 12 years old. It's my first time seeing something like that on a computer. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or that vulgar at, at, at the most, you know? But it wouldn't go away. You know what I'm saying? It was a pop-up that I kept clicking. The, you know what I'm saying? I kept trying to close it out. It, it kept popping up and shit. And shit, eventually, I, I guess I ended up giving in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And... As a kid, you know what I'm saying? That really does something to you, you know what I'm saying? Because you, your mind isn't ready for that shit. Your mind doesn't even fully understand it yet. It, uh, or, at, or at least it shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't understand that at 12 years old. I don't think. But it was being shoved in my face. And around the same time, I remember going to school and my peers and my classmates to be watching the shit on the computers and watching that shit on their phones and trying to show it to me and you know what I'm saying and it was just influenced everywhere in my life and I tell you man for the longest like through especially through high school man I can honestly say man like I, I got hooked on that shit man like I was that shit destroyed my life it just destroyed me mentally and you always know those things are wrong, you know what I'm saying? You know those things aren't good for you. Because if, if, if it wasn't wrong, why would you be trying to clear it out of your computer? If it isn't wrong, why, why are you trying to hide it from somebody else? If it wasn't wrong, you know that shit is wrong. That's why you hide it. That's why you, you know what I'm saying? That's why you feel bad about yourself after you watch that shit. And I knew it was wrong in high school, man. I remember I was 16 years old. And I discovered no fact, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I discovered that because it saved my life. 
and it wasn't easy fellas i used to struggle and fall off and have to start over and all this shit and it's just it was a struggle man i felt like i was never gonna be anywhere it was a, i was really battling myself like for the first time in my life and uh for those of you who don't know no fap is basically you don't watch pornography you don't touch yourself you know what i'm saying none of that shit and it, it sounds it sounds silly it sounds easier said than done but fellas when you're when you're hooked on something like that it's gonna be hard to just stop you know right away you know what i'm saying it was trial and error for me but i finally was able to conquer myself and conquer my mind and cut that poison out of my fucking life and i'm grateful for it 16 years old fellas and that's why i say i'm ahead of that's why i tell you most of these grown men can't tell me shit because the shit that I was putting myself through at 16, the shit that I knew at 16, these men don't know nothing about. Or they're just now finding out. And I knew about it at 16. Because I knew that shit was wrong. How many motherfuckers you know watch that shit and say, okay, I got a problem, I got to fix myself. You don't know many people that do that. Because they're all blue pill. They think it's okay, they think it's normal. Or they, they know it's wrong and they just, they're too weak to fucking stop it. They have no self-control, but see, that's the difference between you and me, fellas. We have self-control. We don't watch those things. We don't touch ourselves. That's pathetic, and it's beneath the high-value man. We will not be doing shit like that. So, throughout high school, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, through trial and error, I was struggling with it, but I was still practicing it. And then, after I graduated high school, around uh, 19, yeah, around when I was 19, early 20s, turning 20, you know what I'm saying, I was 19 turning 20, just doing heavy research, blah, 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 all this other shit, I discovered semen retention, and boy, that changed my life, that changed my life, because what you, you have to understand is when you're doing these things and you're touching yourself you're just being stupid you're releasing your life force energy think about it fellas your semen your sperm is powerful enough to create a life and you're wasting it away on a video on, on the internet not even dealing with a real woman it's okay to deal with a real woman but to be touching yourself and giving yourself uh, false dopamine and just, you know what I'm saying? It, it changes your brain, it rewires your brain and it fucks you up mentally. You're just, it, it's so many things wrong with that, man. I'm gonna dive deep into it later on, but it, it's just, it's a lot. The semen retention changed my life, man. It changed my fucking life. Because when you're holding in that 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 life force energy, the the same life force energy that's powerful enough to create a life, when you hold that energy inside of you, things I'm telling you, man, it's a spiritual journey, and I see these things in my life, man. My skin is glowing. People, my my aura, you know what I'm saying? Men are men are more respectful towards me, and and they, you know what I'm saying? Some of them even get intimidated. Or, fellas, you're going to get some guys, when you're on semen retention long enough, you're going to get some guys that want to try to challenge you because they feel intimidated by you. Some of them are going to tuck your tail, but some of them are going to try to test you. And that's when you're really going to have to put your foot down and assert your dominance. Women are going to be more attracted to you. They don't know that you're on semen retention, but subconsciously, they know, oh, it's something about this guy. He's different. His eyes are glowing. See, fellas, when, when you're constantly depleting yourself and playing with yourself, your eyes are, are, are really foggy. You look weak in the eyes. Your posture is weak. Your, energy, your, your confidence is weak. Your energy is weak. And women can sense that shit. It, re, it repels them. But when you're, not, when you're not doing that to yourself, when you're holding that life force energy, you start to attract everything and because it's you're, you're becoming more natural you're it's a spiritual journey fellow you're you're aligning with the universe you're aligning with the most high and what the most high in the universe do is they bless you and they reward you for that you start attracting everything i start attracting things that i wanted in my life 
more positive things was happening to me. Like I said, you get better with women. It comes easy. You don't have to, all you do is attract. You don't have to chase. They can feel it. They can feel your energy, man. They can feel the pheromones coming off of you. I mean, they can smell the pheromones coming off of you. And it's, I'm telling you, man, you attract everything in the universe. Animals love me. Insects, just, you know what I'm saying? All types of shit. You can feel it. You're going to feel good every morning when you get up. And I'm going to tell you this, fellas. There's some men out here that go years semen retention. I, I, I've yet to hit a year. But the longest I've gone was four months. Every now and again, I take four months at a time semen retention. Just to reset, just to align with the most high and get my mind right. And to conquer the things I need to conquer in my life. Like I said, fellas, you get stronger in the gym. It's just, it feels like your mind is running smoother. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you're in your natural state as a man. The modern man in modern society, look, look, think about it, fellas. Modern society has all these men doing this. There's grown men, men older than me, and I'm 23 years old. There's men in their 30s, 40s, probably 50s, still touching their stuff, still been addicted to pornography their whole, li their whole life. You know what I'm saying? Just depleting themselves of their life force energy into a fucking napkin or to a tissue. You know what I'm saying? It's just pathetic. And it makes it so easy, like I said, for us to stand out, fellas. That's why you would, man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When you realize that 99.9% .9 of society is blue pill, then you will understand how, how this shit works. You will understand how this shit works. But I'm going to tell you, fellas. Grown men, grown men can't even conquer themselves. You have to. You have to. You have to do it, man. It's a quote, man. It says, the mouse dies because he doesn't understand why the cheese is free. The mice fall, I mean, the mouse falls for the mouse trap because he doesn't understand why the cheese is free. And basically, the mouse is you. The cheese is the pornography. You end up paying for the cheese with your life. And that's basically pornography. You end up, you think pornography is okay and it's free. And it, it's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's free and it should be okay and it's normal, blah, 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 right? You're paying for pornography with your soul. Pornography is free because you don't realize that you're paying for it with your soul. Weak ass, soulless ass, rapist ass men. They all stem from pornography. Insecure, beta, depressed men stem from pornography. The kids, man, it's getting worse and worse. When I was a kid coming up, yeah, it was thrown at our face at a young age on the music, on the on the on the shows and everything. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, it's really bad for these kids coming up, man. It's really bad. It's really fucking bad, bro. That shit is it, it, is so deep. It's really bad. But the best thing you can't save everybody. You can't change everybody. The best thing you can do is make sure you're not doing that shit in your life. And I promise you, man, you're gonna feel so good. You're gonna feel so good, man. I remember. It'll be times when I'm on semen retention, man, and women would just be flocking towards me. Everywhere I go, they're just staring at me, just looking at me, blah, 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 especially in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Looking me in the eyes, and then they'll look away. But it's funny because when I was depleting myself on semen retention, if I looked at a woman, or if me and a woman made eye contact, I would be the one to look away and show submissiveness and be nervous and timid. Now, they're the ones that's being submissive. They're the ones that's, that's making it easy for me to, to apply myself and get their number and set up a date. They're making it easy for me. To, and, and I'm telling you, fellas, that masculine energy that you, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel like you're glowing. Your body's going to feel like it's just glowing with energy. I'm telling you, fellas, you're going to be able to conquer any woman you want. And in, a, in the most humble way, you know what I'm saying? The most humble way you understand that power. And just because... 
you're on semen retention you shouldn't be on semen retention just to solely attract women fellas that's just a byproduct you don't see me retention to spiritually spiritually grow as a man and conquer your mind and conquer your body and conquer your spirit that's the real alpha thing to do that's the real red pill thing to do there's a lot of guys out here that do no fap and do semen retention just for the sole fact of attracting women and that's cool but long term you're gonna get bored with that long term you're just gonna be right back to the same spot you was in depleting yourself you have to be wise fellas you have to be wise that's why i get so much respect from women that i deal with that's why women they always tell me oh it's something about you your eyes are glowing i feel so safe around you and blah 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 and it's only because i'm in my masculine frame i'm in my true divine masculine energy these other dudes are out here yeah they're they're males but they're not men you know what i'm saying and it's uh it's really crazy it's really crazy man it's really crazy so yeah i have no problem getting women that i do with to submit to me i i get i have no problem having women respect me you know what i'm saying none of that i don't deal with the same shit that these modern women put on these men out here the disrespect and the arguing and the bickering and all that shit they know better we're not going through that because i'm so i'm so nonchalant and I'm so confident in myself that I dismiss that shit calmly. I'll calmly dismiss it. You will never hear from me again. Or if you do hear from me again, it'll be in, in a month. It'll be in a couple weeks. Because I'll put you on ice and show you that I don't need you. That's the real masculine thing to do, fellas. Once they once they uh, adjust their behavior, once they fix their attitude, then they could come back in my life. But if she, when, whenever she acts up, I put her on ice. I give her no contact. She doesn't hear from me again. Until she comes back with an apology and she comes back wanting to act right. And then cool, we, we go back to where we was going. There's no you know what I'm saying? There's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. But I'm telling you, fellas. I'm telling you, man. This shit saved my fucking life. Semen retention and no fat will save your life. And if you can't even and if you and if you can't help not touching yourself, fellas, just try for a week. Try for a, a two weeks and see how you feel. It baby steps, fellas. You're not gonna be at a month. You're not gonna. You might not even be at a week yet. You're just starting off because you have to rewire your body and rewire your brain. That you're healing. You're healing. You're gonna have urges. You're gonna be tempted, but that's only your body healing. Don't fall for it. The more you conquer those urges, the more you dismiss them and take that energy and put it into the gym or into physical activity or something productive. It's just going to get stronger and stronger. And like I said, fellas, you have to be selective with who you finally share that energy with. You can't just be doing semen retention and then releasing and and and, and uh, spilling your energy, spilling your life force with whores. We've all been guilty of it, fellas. I've done it too. But I'm being more selective with the women I deal with now. And these women that I deal with, I have a spiritual connection with. I have a deep connection with and i have strong feelings for them. so there's no problem i don't feel drained and i don't feel depleted after an encounter with them because their spirit is their spirit aligns with mine but when you're out here on semen retention and then you spill your fucking life force with a whore you're gonna feel depleted you're gonna feel drained and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a feeling of regret i mean i'm sorry regret you're gonna have a feeling of regret and you're not gonna feel good Sex shouldn't really deplete you, fellas. It should actually charge you up. It should actually make you feel better. And if you notice, for those of you who do see more attention, if you notice when you when you deal with a woman who has a high vibration and her spirit is aligned, you feel so much better after having sex. But when you deal with a whore, when you deal with a woman whose 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 spirit is bad, her vibration is low, then your vibration is gonna low. Your vibration is gonna lower down to her level or lower and you're going to be feeling depleted because all those women do is they drain your energy they drain your energy they don't reciprocate it see when you're with a woman that's high vibrational like you your energy is going to reciprocate through each, through each other you're going to be giving positive energy back and forth high vibrations back and forth when you go out and lay with a whore she's going to drain your energy she's going to get up feeling energized you're going to be the one depleted you're going to be the one left with no no drive back to square one so just think about it fellas think about it deep do research on it man and start trying to get started and practice this shit man because i'm telling you 
This shit saved my life and it'll save yours. It's your boy Sim Dog. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with another one. Peace.